Okay, let's go. We are on our little walk down to the beach and we are gonna do a little playing and a little sketching and uh, we are gonna set up a like a rain fly tarp thing and uh, demonstrate tying uh, three of my favorite knots or uh, I don't know if you call them all knots, but at any rate, uh, they're great for camping and they're great for hanging up a, uh, like a tarp or a rain fly. been camping a bit more lately and there are a few knots here that I have just found that I am using constantly and my I've used them often enough that my muscle memory has kicked in which is a really great thing that's why you practice knots so that when you do them your fingers just know what to do and it's wonderful um, a really satisfying thing um, but which knots do you learn that's always the question. So I have picked the three things that I do with uh, rope um, that I use all the time. And if you wanna set up tarps and you wanna set up um, tents, uh, these will absolutely come in handy. The first one up is a bowline and I use that for attaching string to um, a tarp. So, First you loop through the hole in your tarp. I pinch and twist a loop and then hold that loop still and take my tail end and put it down through the hole I just made. And then uh, the back end of the rope there, you're going to loop it around it. I like to go over and then under and then we're gonna go back up through that same hole that we just went through, down through. You go back up through it. And then uh, you go ahead and just tighten her on up and you've got your bowline. It is very easy to untie, which I appreciate. Now that you've got the string attached to your tarp, now we've got to attach it to something else. If you've got stakes, you can use these little jobbies that come with a lot of the rainfly strings and they have a loop, but sometimes you want to tie it around a tree and you can't just slip it over the top. And so I like to use a, a taut line hitch. So you take the, you have it looped around your tree or whatever already, piece of driftwood in this case, 
and I loop it around over the top and pull through the middle of my loop and I loop it around I like to do it about five times you could do it less you could do it more it's kind of a friction thing um, and it makes it pretty easy to slide up and down and then you cross over both underneath and then you pull it up and you pop it down you're gonna put it in the hole in the middle just like you're tying a knot stuff it on in pull it tight holding those spirals in place and then you've got your pretty um, little top line hitch and you can just slide it up slide it down um, you do want to have this be about the right size to start with because sometimes you'll notice that you run out of room for tightening and you might have to retie the the hitch I've had to do that a number of times because I did not quite estimate the distance that I was going um, but that's okay uh, something you'll pick up over time but it's a very clever um, tool for tightening down your rain flies um, or you know if you're trying to stabilize a tent and when you want to take it out you untie it from your tarp your rain fly first and then you can just pull that end through the middle out from in the center of the coil and it unties pretty quickly which is pretty fantastic bam so and then you just undo your one little knot and you can straighten her out next up you have to store these properly you know you can't just throw them in a bin you'll spend way too much time undoing them so start to wrap it around your fingers and you wrap and you wrap and you wrap and you wrap it until you have I don't know a foot and a half left over um, obviously if it's a bigger a thicker cord you're going to need more distance left over um, but um, with some of this kind of paracord stuff um, 18 inches is about enough once you get to this part, and I'm like, oh, see, I had to let a little bit out. I put my finger and hook one end, and then I start to wrap around the whole bundle. Make sure I keep my finger in there holding my spot, because that finger is going to be important. Now, when I have a bit left still, I take and I pinch it in between my fingers which allows me to kind of easily push it through the hole. And it's pulling a bite through the hole. It's not pulling the end through the hole. And with a bite, you loop that bite back over the top. And then you're able to just kind of tighten this down sort of on itself. And that holds it really nice and secure. Excellent for stowing that way. So fantastic little knot. Definitely recommend you uh, give that I don't know if you call it a knot actually, but um, it's a fantastic way to store store your um, store your bits of string. been doing much urban sketching in a while so it took me a little while to get into the groove and of course it's just important not to judge yourself and I hope you enjoyed the knot demonstration um, definitely three of my favorite knots did you hear him talking in the voiceover check out. There's a lot of great uh, videos with Carl doing a voiceover. And um, hey, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this.